Hey YouTube, what's up? So I just got a request on uh, how to show you guys kind of how to film yourself drawing. And so this is going to be a quick rundown of the best method I've found for filming myself drawing um, and getting uh, the most of my, I guess, drawing and everything into the frame and kind of keeping it consistent, if you know what I mean, because I know uh, trying to like film over my shoulder and stuff just really didn't work out too well. But uh, so... If you're trying to film, um, say you're drawing stickers or something, and you have like a standard size uh, area, getting a tripod is very helpful and it'll be well worth your money or whatever. I'm not sure how expensive they run as I had this one laying around. It is relatively broken in the sense, but it holds the camera and uh, can stand up to a couple different heights. Um, but that was after I had to mess around with it or whatever. But uh, that's besides the point. And you'll actually, the best method I've found is to actually film upside down. So um, if you are drawing on a label like that and it's forwards, you know, you're going to draw from this angle so that you can actually not inflict on your, um, like, kind of your drawing itself and, like, where your arms are. Because if you're filming like this and... Uh, you need it in front of you, there's going to be a tripod right here and you're not going to be able to draw very well and whatever. So if you actually do it like this and then in Windows Movie Maker or on YouTube itself, you can flip the uh, Im image of the video so it will all be recorded in the other direction so you can actually read it and it'll look like uh, you're seeing it with your own eyes. So I'll do a quick tutorial on how to do that and how to speed it up as um, that is an also big part of this. But uh, just filming backwards kind of seems weird I guess but it is uh, the best method don't try and film over your shoulder or whatever I know I did that for a while and I just uh, really it was like really spaced out or it was uh, really close and then my arm kept like covering it up but uh, this will allow you to actually um, get a very close image as you can like zoom in from afar and it won't obstruct uh, your like ability to draw on it at all so this is gonna cut to a video of my screen and I'll explain more about the process once you have recorded your drawing alright so for this part you're gonna probably wanna open it into full screen so you kinda can see exactly uh, how it's going down and what buttons you'll need to press and whatever as uh, it does get kinda condensed when it is on YouTube so uh, what you're gonna wanna do is have Windows Movie Maker this is a free program it's on all uh, Windows computers and I think you can even download it for the Mac if you have it but uh, they, there's also a um, a version or like a kinda type for it for the Mac I'm not exactly sure what it's called as I don't have one but uh, what you can do is uh, you come in here and, you know, as you can see right here that this drawing is upside down, whereas I want it to be viewed right side up. So you're going to want to come over to the rotate tool. Now you can rotate in it in any sense. Uh, it can go all 360 degrees. Um, this will work well if you're recording on an iPod or a uh, iPhone, as usually uh, I've seen people when they're recording or whatever, it's kind of like flipped and looks like this in like YouTube or whatever and whether the image is flipped or not it kinda just is a kinda bad view I personally think as it's really uh, condensed and whatever and I just don't like uh, the look of it so you can just rotate that or whatever to the desired um, kinda layout and you know that works very well if uh, you do film upside down like I do myself and hopefully you will uh, as well because it is uh, the best method personally and now to speed up your video this is the newest version of uh, Windows Movie Maker you can go download it off the internet I'll try and find it and put the link below as I know the older version of uh, Windows Movie Maker didn't offer this uh, setting but now once you go under the video tool you can come over here to speed and select your speed you wish to do it at and since right now as you can see it's 24 minutes long of the final video um, I like to keep my drawing videos to around three to five minutes maybe a little bit more if it's a piece but uh, these are just some stickers so I found that uh, eight times was a good uh, good amount as it's just over three minutes but you can actually come in here and if I want to do it ten times the speed you can enter that in and uh, do that so if maybe uh, what does it go by? So maybe four is uh, 
too slow but eight's too fast you could go in there and hit it with a six and uh, that might be a good middle value uh, to keep it keep it uh, a nice uh, length as I know people get bored and I know I get bored with some videos if it kind of just drags on or whatever so I like to keep it in a margin like that but uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you kind of see how I run things with recording uh, myself draw or whatever and uh, if it did help you definitely uh, hit it in the comments as uh, maybe suggestions for others to try um, if you found some method to work a little bit better or something along those lines uh, definitely let me know and I can then relay it back to you guys as uh, it's a big help with uh, you guys being a strong community and viewer base that uh, you guys kind of give me tips while I'm giving you you tips and uh, everybody's just uh, benefits from that so that's really gonna do it for me definitely hit it in the comments if you have a suggestion for a future video as this was a suggestion itself and uh, you know if you know I do it I'm pretty sure uh, if you're wondering how I do it I know uh, others are probably too and just speak up you know it's uh, judgment free uh, I didn't uh, really think about recording myself m recording a video kind of thing but uh, that's really gonna do it for me. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.